LHS. I'm Chance. And I'm Olivia. Did you know today is National Croissant Day? You know where the croissant originated? France! Speaking of France, check out this video about the upcoming trip to Europe. I'm Olivia Alpert. And I'm Chance Reasonover, and we both went on the Europe trip in 2016. Jackson, you're going on the trip this year. What are you most looking forward to? I'm excited to see the Eiffel Tower and uh, just try new foods, do new things, different, see the different cultures. Yeah. Um, when I went to France, I think my favorite thing was seeing the Louvre and I got to see the Mona Lisa, so that was pretty crazy. Yeah, the Mona Lisa was amazing, but my favorite thing had to be going to the Versailles Palace and seeing the gardens. We definitely encourage you to take this trip if you're interested in traveling abroad and seeing a bunch of different cultures. This will be an experience that you'll never forget, and I know that some of my favorite memories are from the Europe trip. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to go to room B306 and ask Dr. Bozeman. He is encouraging anyone interested to at least go to one meeting to see what the Europe trip is all about. Yeah, guys, this trip is a great opportunity. If you want to take a trip across the ocean to come hang out with me, go see Dr. Bozeman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> From us. That was one of the best experiences we've ever had. The last day to sign up for the trip is February 14th. Make sure to talk to Dr. Bozeman in room B306 if you have any questions. The cast for the musical Guys and Dolls has already been posted and we are so excited to go see it this spring. Our theater department works incredibly hard to put on amazing shows for us. Make sure you support them come showtime. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. You will be filling out your schedules for next year very soon. Check out these class promo videos to help you decide which classes you want to take. My name is Miss Fitzgerald. I am the choir director here at Lebanon High School. Um, I teach a chamber choir, which is an audition only group. I teach a ladies ensemble, which is also going to be audition only next year. I have a freshman choir, and then we're also going to have a non-audition choir. I think that you should join choir if you genuinely love to sing, if you want to improve your voice, if you want to um, work on music from other cultures and other languages, and I think you'll have fun. Uh, I'll be representing the band program here at Lebanon. We, uh, or I, do a lot of, or all the band classes, and we teach music preparing for concerts. Uh, in the spring, we focus on concert music, preparing for an event uh, called Concert Performance Assessment, where we go take a trip and we get kind of judged on our concert. Uh, we do several concerts throughout the spring other than that, where percussion has their own concert, we have a jazz concert, we have a concert band concert, we have a concert that is with the middle school uh, band concert programs, and we put that all together and we have a busy spring semester just like our fall. The fall, we focus on marching. I think it's the most public face of, of the Lebanon bands where you see us at football games and competitions. And that tends to be what the focus is on the fall till we get to Christmas music, of course. So it's kind of what we do here. You would pick band if you, probably if you already played an instrument in middle school, because um, coming into our program, we're, we're already at a higher level. Um, but that doesn't mean you couldn't do band if you had some kind of musical experience and you probably could hop in band and learn something. Uh, but obviously you would join band if you want to continue working on your, your instrument, you want to learn music, you want to improve your musical talents. Uh, band is the place to do that and we of course would be glad to have you if you want to come talk to me about it first that would be awesome. video for Film as Literature and next year it's going to be called Visual Literacy. Um, in the class we watch movies, we talk about them, see like what makes a good movie and what makes a bad movie, we write our own scripts and it's super fun and what do you all have to say? Uh, we do a lot of things in the class like 
studying the composition of movies and how they're made and score movies and music behind movies and why the writer of the movies tries to develop tones in certain ways in certain places in the movie to make the scenes more beneficial to the viewer. You know, it's just really cool to be able to watch a movie and break it down for everything that's in it and not just, a lot of times when we're at home, all we focus on is the plot and the ending and everything, but you get into very descriptive detail about movies and I think it's awesome. My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Hi, my name is Mrs. Sweet, and I teach theater here at Lebanon High School. We actually have a very big range of classes to offer in theater arts. We have theater one through four. It is a prerequisite that you take the one before it, or you could take three, four, two, three, four, and so on. Um, we do have a new class next year that is going to be offered as a skinny block. It is a technical theater class and it involves all the technical elements that you would learn briefly in Theater One. It is stage makeup, costuming, set building. You actually be helping with the set build and decoration for the main stage productions that's in the fall and the spring because it is a year-long class. And there's so much that I could talk about and what you would learn in theater, but I'd rather have my students tell you that themselves. In theater, you learn how to be more comfortable around people. You learn how to be more comfortable talking in front of people, acting in front of people, and you learn how to be more close to the people in your class and acting in front of them. You also really get to just be anybody you want to be because in acting, you're not just one character. You get to act any way you want to be, and you get to really show off your skills, and you're not judged. It's like a big family, and we learn all kinds of different skills like improv, with quick thinking and critical thinking and things just necessary for life, not just theater. No man is born great. Some may ask, how has this class changed my life? And my response is, meh. Rather, men must become great. In my opinion, a push is definitely a class. Only through the sweat of our brow, through blood, through tears, through trial and tribulation, do we change for the better? I really like history, but really the only reason why I like this class and why I've won the oh shit is because Mr. Wilson's pretty great and you'll definitely have fun. Will you rise to this challenge? Yeah, those look pretty cool. Maybe I'll sign up for one. Olivia, you're a senior. We have more important things to focus on, like voting for senior superlatives. Today is the last day, so make sure you go get your votes in. The superlatives will be awarded on senior night on February 24th. There will be awards, food, and entertainment, so you definitely don't want to miss out on this free opportunity. LHS will also be having a senior lock-in here at school on February 9th from 7 p.m. to 8 a.m. Tickets are $5 at the bank and food will be provided. If you want to come hang out with us, make sure you get tickets. Black hoodies are $28 and crewnecks are $20 at the bank. Also, prom tickets are on sale at the bank and online. Junior tickets are $55 and seniors $45. If you purchase your ticket before February 23rd, you will receive a free t-shirt. There will be a Latin Club interest meeting in room B211 with Mr. Judkins after school this Thursday. There are only two home basketball games left this season. Make sure you come out tonight and support your Blue Devils. That's all we have for today. I'm Chance. And I'm Olivia. This has been news to you from the White and Blue. Have, have a great, great day, day, LHS. LHS.